there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm coming with another Christmas design that is really easy and I'm showing step by step and I'm providing a free pattern. That is why I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it if you decide to. Please subscribe with the bell if you still haven't, also like, share and comment, in this way you give me signals to continue with my work. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are four colors of 11 all seed beads, red, golden, turquoise and white. I'm also using here earring findings in golden color. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. This is size 11 beading needle, you could use similar sizes like 10 or 12, the smaller sizes are easier to work with. This is guys a free pattern that we are gonna be using during this tutorial and I provide for free and I will also post it on my Facebook page to see it and here I also have scissors and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back and as I said guys we're gonna be using this pattern all the time and uh, I will start from here first we need four red beads so first I'm taking two beads I'm sliding those down and as I'm exiting from this one I'm going backwards through the other one here guys I want to leave a small tail that I will use to finish my work later okay now this is what i have i have these two beads next to each other touching side to side and with the holes pointing in this direction as you may see and again i want to go through the next one then i want to take another one as i said in the first row i need four like this and another one so here my friends I have four beads next to each other but I just don't like how they sit and I want to reinforce them that is why I'm going one more time through them. Okay, now I have them nice and tight next to each other. Okay, now I'm going to take my pattern again. And you see here in the next row I need seven beads. Okay, and first I'm going to add this one and this one. And then I'll show you what I do next. Okay, here are two beads and I'm going here under the first thread bridge. You see these thread bridges that I have between my beads, I go under the first one of them. I always go under the first one when I increase, which means when I have more beads in the next row than in the previous. And for those of you that are not familiar, this is the so-called brick stitch and if you don't know it, don't worry because I'm showing it easy. Okay, and then what I want to do is to go through the bead which is closer to the center of my work. Okay. This is what I do now. Now guys, I'm going to consult with my pattern again. Now I just added this bead and this bead and I want to add this one here. Okay, and how I do this, as I'm here, I go in the next red one, I take one red bead and I turn my work the way it will be easier for me, let's say like this, 
and I just go like in the previous row and I add this new bead. Then I go through it one more time and I have this. After that, I'm going to reposition my thread to exit out of this bit, but here you see I don't like this gap that I have. That is why I will go one more time through this bit from the previous row. Then what I want to do is to go through this bit and through this last one that I have here. And after that I pull. And then I'm going to take one more bead and I'm going under the next thread bridge and backwards through this one. Then I take another bead, go under the following thread bridge like this and backwards here. And here, pay attention, I don't have any more thread bridges. That is why I add this one at the same thread bridge that I added the previous one. So here at my last thread bridge, I add two beads. The same way, under the thread bridge and then through the bead. And here, guys, according to my pattern, now I added this one and this one and according to my pattern I also should add this one here. Okay, and I take one red bead and I go backwards through this red one. Like this. Then again through this one. And backwards through the following. Okay guys, and now back to the pattern and in next row I have one bit more than in the previous one. So we're gonna be doing increasing brick stitch and I will start it with two red beads. Okay, and I'm taking two red beads and when I make increasing brick stitch, I always go through the first thread bridge that I have here. Okay, I go through this one. Okay, then again I go through the bead which is closer to the center of my work and then backwards through this one but I will go in the previous row because I prefer my beads to stay nice and tight next to each other and I will go back here. It's not obligatory to go through the previous row. I just find that it looks better when I do, especially if you're not working with delicate beads. Okay, so now I will continue adding one by one red beads until the end of this row. Okay, my friends, and here I am where I need to add my last bead from this row. And again, I must say I'm out of thread bridges. That's why I'm adding it here. Okay. 
and if you work correctly in this row you need to have eight beads and here is my pattern again and after these eight red beads in the third row i need a fourth row with nine golden beads i always start with two golden beads and as I'm exiting from the last bead, I go under the first thread bridge because I increase, which means I have more beads in the next row. And then I go through the bead which is closer to the center of my work. I take another golden, go under the next thread bridge. And because it is all the same, I will add beads one by one here and I'll meet you for the last step. Okay, my friends, and here I have eight golden beads and I'm out of thread bridges, but I need to add one more. So I'm adding it at the same thread bridge where I've been through with the previous one. And then I add it here like this let me consult with my pattern again okay i have one two three four rows added and i need to add another row with 10 this time turquoise beads i'm showing you only the first two steps turquoise because i increase i have more beads in the next row i go under the first thread bridge and i go through the bead which is closer to the center of my work and I take one turquoise bead again and I go under the next thread bridge okay now continue until the end and I'll be back for the next row Okay guys, and I'll, I just added my last 10th bead from this row and now absolutely the same way I will add another turquoise row of 11 beads and I'll be back. Okay my friends, and I'm just adding here my 11th bead and now I need to consult with my pattern, okay? Now I added these two rows and the next row, guys, this one that I'll start from here, consists of 10 beads, which means I decrease. So uh, first it starts with two red beads and I'll show you the difference between increasing and decreasing break stitch. They are pretty close, but when I take the first two beads of this row, I don't go through the first thread bridge, but I go under the second thread bridge. Then it is the same because I go through the bead which is closer to the center of my work. And after that I need to reinforce my beads because they stretch and they don't sit nice. That is why I'm going one more time. So the difference is, is that I go through the second thread bridge instead of the first one and that I reinforce this. Now, according to my pattern, after that I need two white beads and I'm adding them absolutely the same way. Here, there is no difference. The difference is only when you start your row between, between increasing and decreasing brick stitch, I mean. But they are pretty similar. Then I need two red beads. After that, two white beads. And then again, two red beads.
and here where when I add this bit at the last thread bridge I don't add any more beads because you know I add with one bead less so no need to add any more beads okay now let me consult with my pattern again okay here is my pattern I just did this row here and now I need to do this middle row which is again as you may see increasing because it goes out compared to this one and it consists of 11 beads and the previous one consists of 10 beads so I started from here and I started with a red and a golden okay I take a red and a golden and because I increase again I go under the first thread bridge and now I don't need to reinforce then I'm going to take my pattern again and I need red white red golden red white red golden red okay and I'll show you faster this row And now guys remember when I increase I add two beads at the last thread bridge and in this case these are the golden and this one the last thread okay. and now I have this and in my next row guys I have row with two reds two whites alternating which is the same as the previous one and it is again decreasing and if you remember the decreasing you take the first two beads and go not through the first but through the second thread bridge under the second thread bridge okay and then i go through the bead which is closer to the center of my work and I reinforce and now guys pause on this pattern and add the rest bits of this row two whites two reds two whites two reds and when I'm up to here I'll be back to show you what's coming up next okay guys and I just finished this row the same way and now uh, I don't need a pattern anymore I could watch from here so here I added a row with 10 beads then I need to add another row with turquoise beads so I go under the first thread bridge because I increase it will be with 11 beads and sticking out okay now pause on this pattern and do this rows from here until this one with seven red beads okay one two three four five beads you do by yourself absolutely the same way with increasing and decreasing and from here on only decreasing and i'll meet you here okay guys and when i continue beading the same way this is what i have here i have a row with seven red beads if you haven't done this pause on this frame and add the rows as you see them or go back to the previous frame with the pattern and do this 
Okay, and now I want to add a row with four beads. You see, as I have here, four red beads. And what I do is that I go through the following bead in this direction and through the third bead, counting from here in this direction. Then I take two red beads and I go through the thread bridge, which is before the place where my thread is exiting. Okay. I go through the bead, which is closer to the center of my work. And I go one more time through these beads to make them stay nice and tight. I need another red bead. Go under the next thread bridge. And another red. Following thread bridge and according to my pattern guys after this row with four beads I need a row with three golden beads again I started with two beads and because it is decreasing I go under the second thread bridge that I have here Then go through the bead which is closer to the center and train force. Another golden. And in my next step, guys, I take a golden, my earring finding and a golden. And I go again under the second thread bridge, although here I have only two thread bridges. But I go through the second one, counting from the place where my thread is exiting out of. Then I go through this one. And then I reinforce. And after I reinforce, I go through some beads in this direction. Tight. And I'm going to find the place and make a knot and how I make my knot. I make a loop. I go through this loop that I have here. And pull. Then I go through some beads in this direction and I cut this tail thread as close as possible to my work. And you could burn it with a zipper if you don't like how it looks. Now, guys, I will put my needle from this end. I will zigzag through my beads make a knot and cut it okay guys and now my christmas tree decoration balls are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make new tutorials usually twice a week and you will be inspired often you could also check description for useful resources and a facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials you also might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. 
Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.